Hello everyone, I am Heba Hassan from GFX Academy. Um, today we will talk about using the um, smart vector tools that we used before in order to just deal with the longer shots here. So we talk about uh, the smart vector tool in order to analyze certain issues here and how to paint the smarts on the face, remove them using the vectors uh, and then adding anything you want or just paint anything you want. Suppose that we want to remove all the other marks and we want to split the video into different painting. So I want to use a specific paint to remove certain thing and another one to remove another one. We have already the smart vector of my video previous and we also painted here on my face uh, or the face of the uh, chroma that we did before um, and we have already had the uh, small vectors distortion of the video so we will use a different paint of this piece as uh, these frames okay and the other frames you will use another paint tool so how to do this? How to use two different paintings at the same video, adding them together, measuring them together to give me a fine details. That's exactly what we will do today. So, suppose that I want to add a, a paint tool for from 1 to 15 and another paint tool to the rest of my video. And I need this video to merge them together and deal with them as if, as if they are one paint tool to give me one nice result. So, I do have the vectors of my video. So, very very simple. We will do this. Just splitting my video into two segments. The first one from 1 to 15. So I start here, the 15 would be the end. And then from 16 to 24, so which will have a different frame. So let's have a look. This is my paint from 1 to 15. I need to stay at this. And stuck with that one from 16 to 24. Of course, I have different frame holes or reference frame. I have two different paint, roto paint and I need to merge them together according to this arrangement of the frames. How to do this? Well, go back to use my previous data in order to merge this roto paint uh, from 1 to 15 and uh, with the other one from 16 to 24, merging them together using this roto paint. So, how to do this? I'll go back to take here. Let's have a bigger space. And I have my vectors that was rendered to the previous video. Okay, as right here. And both of them will use it because both of them have the same motion, the same video. And I need the vector distort, of course. And another copy. Let's have a space. Another copy of this vector distort, control C, control P, V. Okay, close this. And now let's connect them. Well, smart vectors and my source video. Smart vectors here. Okay, and my source. And of course, I need to tell them that I have different. References 7 and the other one here 20, so I need to change it into 20. Okay, so now I have these two, I need to merge them, but before we do this, I need the pre multiply. So let's add a pre multiply here for that one. And another pre multiply for the second. So now, if we have a look, 
we have here this multiplied result that will be till 15 and that one that will start from 16 to 24. I need to mirror them according to my rule. How to do this? Very simple. Let's have a space here to merge both of them to my main view. So the first merge here will connect the result plus the video. Of course, I don't need all of these nodes the back and just need it. So let's say just go, go, go. I might also need this video only. So let's organize it a little bit. Here. Okay. So if I connect it here, I do have that load. Very nice result. But as you see here, I do have some issue at the final frames. So I need to use the second rotopend from 16 till the end of my video. And I need to ask this merge to stop working after 15. So I need to go to node and use the lovely feature lifetime. So use lifetime in order to control the using of this node. So use lifetime from 1 to 15. And I have a look here. Voila! Now it's disabled as you see because it's at the 16 frame. So here according to the rule it tells you that I am disabled because of a rule that you made it here. So I made a rule that will give me that result because this merge node is not working anymore after 15. And now I am at 16, but previous, I do have that result. Great. After 15, I do not have any results. So now I need to use the other one. Another merge. And let's add it here. And the other one. Oh, no, I need to change A and B. Yes. And now, let's use the same property of the lifetime to ask it to work from 16. So go here, for example, anyone, to see that result. I don't need it to work from 15. So I need it to be from 16. Okay. And voila. Also, it is disabled because it's not at the frame range that I'm asking it to work. As you see here, we do have a lock. It will work and we will deal with them, both of them, according to my rule. So, gives me that lovely result. Great. So, if I stop here, I do have this... And I've stopped there, I will do have this disabled. Great. So you can split your video and your project into different frames, different segments, in order to work at different uh, shots together and finally to merge all of them according to your will in order to have a look. But if you have a look here, see, I have here this offset. Why? Because it's between 15 and 16. 15 and 16 frame here. It has this offset because of this merge. So I need to just merge it a little bit. If you do have that uh, split or that offset. Only what you need just to merge it. And have different uh, 3 or 4 frames to be included between these two. So you can make it for example. Instead of 1 to 15, you can, may make it 1 to 18 or 1 to 20. Uh, just to have uh, 2 or 3 frames to be merged instead and don't have any offset like that. Okay. So, we use the same vector in order to merge different rotopins with the same video to have that lovely results. And remember, in your vector distort, you may use 
the reference frame to uh, different reference reference frame in order to have a, a different result and you can use the frame distance also in order to distort it a little bit to get a different result according to your video okay and don't forget the vector details to get you a bigger understand and better details of your vectors and distortion i hope that could help you to finish your job quickly use your vector details in order to paint it very very quick and divide it into segments if you do have some issues some problems in your video and by that way you will solve your shots finish it very soon very quickly hope you like it see you in the next and next step next time thank you goodbye